it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from a company called, or a brewery called, Thurn and Taxis. This is the Hell's Lager, the Hell. It's 4.7% ABV in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's a look at the bottle cap. We've got a blue bottle cap with their branding on. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, we need a bottle opener for this one. Don't have one. My goodness me. Here we go. My apologies. Very unprofessional to leave the camera set, eh? Someone told me once, golden rule when you're filming, never leave, never leave the shot. Oh, well, I needed a bottle opener. I had to leave the shot. <laughs> um, right, um, something I want to say about this beer. A brown bottle. Not this particular beer, but the brewery. Do you know I sometimes talk about... L let me show you the beer first and then we'll get into it. Uh, we got a two to three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a light amber straw coloured Hellez Lager. Looks really good, really good quality lager. The beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersreviewed.co.uk. The largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world absolutely fantastic check them out there's a link in the description box of the video for beers of europe uk if you've been a, if you've been away if you've been to germany working or if you've been to spain or portugal or france and you want to find that particular beer that you were drinking whilst you were away back in the uk the best place to find it is beers of uk fantastic online bottle shop and not just online but if you're in the norfolk area they've literally got a warehouse full of beer so 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 um i mean i'm going to tell you this story because I, it, it it humored me yesterday i i put my beer order in with beers of europe and i was looking at this beer on their website i was like oh third and taxis uh never heard of this one I'd like to try some of their beer. And of course, did a little YouTube search. And there it was, eight years ago, nine years ago, I reviewed their Vice beer. And it's one of those situations where, and I talk about this a lot on the channel, one of those situations where um, I've, I've drank nearly 9,000 beers. Nearly 9,000 beers. And... You're never going to remember them all. And it turns out you're never going to remember all the breweries either. Because I spent 10 minutes of my life reviewing a Thurn and Taxi's Vice beer eight or nine years ago. And cannot remember for love nor money doing it, reviewing it, drinking the beer. And I, I, you know, I nearly went into this beer review going, oh, here we go. Uh, you know, if I didn't do a little bit of research... Nearly went into the beer review going, oh yeah, this is a brand new brewery for me. I've never, never had anything uh, from this before. And it, and this is what ties back to that kind of whole Rustlers incident recently where I was like, I've never had a Rustlers before. Uh, it's not that I got like Alzheimer's or anything like that. It's just the fact that there's so many things reviewed on the channel that I can't simply remember everything, you know. Yes, I've reviewed their Vice beer, and now I'm reviewing their Hellas Lager. Let's get the aroma on this beer. It smells really good. Spicy, peppery. A little bit of sweetness. A little bit of stinging nettle coming through on the aroma. Very close cousins of the hop. We'll talk about that in a bit if you want to. Let's dive in though. It smells great. A 
Love it. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. Helles Lager. One of my favourite beer styles of all time. The simple yet lovely Helles Lager. This is a good one. What I like about this beer is that crisp malt. That crisp biscuit malt to begin with. It's like a wafer flavour in the mouth. Very clean, very crisp. I've cooled the beer down. It's been out the fridge. It was out the fridge for about 40 minutes. So... I got it from four degrees, probably up to about six or seven degrees. Um, really important to drink your beer at the right temperature to be able to gain all of those flavours. But at the same time, there's a balance. You don't want to be drinking warm beer either. So try and find that balance. Try and find a... Generally, if I store beer in the fridge, if I'm going to drink that very beer, I won't if I get it out the fridge, I won't touch it for at least 20 minutes. 20 minutes, out the fridge, on the sideboard, in the kitchen. I'll drink it after 20 minutes because it's warmed up a little bit. And that way, you're able to experience that lovely crisp wafer lock malt biscuit flavour. You're still able to enjoy the beer relatively cool, cold. And then you're able to enjoy the hops on the back end, which are spicy, peppery, lovely. Kind of that stinging nettle flavour coming through. So the stinging nettle flavour, um, for anybody who's new to beer, you might be thinking to yourself, what is he talking about, stinging nettles? Well, they're a, close, a very close cousin to the hop. If you were thinking about Darwin's Tree of Life, where little branches pop off in different kind of directions, <laughs> I just been, I just been listening to the blooming rain on the roof and the cat howling at the bedroom window for my daughter to let him in. Come on, come on in. <laughs> He's, he very rarely comes near me. There's something about boy cats and. And boy human beings that, you know, he, he stays, for whatever reason, we got him as a stray. He's always stayed straight, very clear. Come here. He's a... No. No, he don't want to go in. Um, anyway, the cat's gone. Uh, he don't want to come in. He'd rather be out in the rain. Um, yeah, if you think about that Darwin tree of life, that hop... Oh, that branch where it kind of branches off from hop to stinging nettle. They're close cousins on the Darwin tree of life. And they used to use stinging nettle years ago before they used hops. Uh, stinging nettle was the preferred kind of preserver of beer, if you like. It was a great preservative of beer back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Um, until they found hops, of course. But they're very, very close. They do a very similar job in one flavour of beer and to preserving beer. I felt with the cat coming, it's, it's made the blooming beer review a little bit messy. Letting bloody, I'll, I'll, before the next beer review, I'm definitely gonna let this damn thing in to the house. But lovely, crisp, refreshing, really good tasting Hell's Lager. Um, I got the vice beer to come. I know I reviewed it nine years ago, but I ordered another bottle because I, I, I just found, I chuckled to myself when I was like, oh, I've never heard of this brewery. Um, and I've already reviewed one of their beers. So I, I've ordered the vice beer again to kind of refresh my mind on the vice beer. But this Hell's Lager, if you see it, order it. Maybe pop onto Beers of Europe's website, order it yourself. It's really good. It's really quite cheap as well. I don't think it costs two pound a bottle. I like it enough to give it, it's an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. 
please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers